Um, <clears throat> all right, let's see here. All right, I guess I'm recording. So, hey guys, welcome back to Default is Awesome. Uh, this is my gaming YouTube channel that I put on hold for about 11 years. And I got to say, a huge part of me regrets not keeping on doing this. Especially because playing video games and being myself and talking and having fun and exploring my passions and talking to other people and networking with other people and overall content creation on YouTube has always been kind of one of my passion. I mean, it always has been my passion, you know, networking and kind of getting uh, getting appreciated for the things that I create. And I'm sure that that's a huge thing that a lot of other people feel as well. Um, so you guys may have noticed. Uh, or I, when I say you guys, like I, I'm a small channel, and this is something huge that I want to acknowledge that I am a tiny channel. I always have been a tiny channel, and I started this channel when I was 11 years old, and then I ended up quitting around the time I was 14. I that's I mean, of course, that's when I started high school. Uh, you know, a lot of other things happened around that time, and I ended up getting a little bit discouraged. I ended up not wanting to take as much time into putting into this. And I tried to find other niches. I tried to find other things that made me unique. And I tried to just kind of explore out of the box and kind of try to find myself within these past 10 years that I haven't been spending on default is awesome. And I don't regret it at all. Now, when I go back to this channel, when I go back to this relic of my past, I see, for example, like I go to a couple of my first videos, like there's a Minecraft Mo, Mo Creeps and Weirdos video on there that I remember having like 20 views when I was on the channel. And then I go back and then I see that the algorithm has kind of blessed me over time, especially because I was working with other collaborators at the time. I was working with uh, Zexy Zek, who was another Minecraft collaborator at the time. Uh, I think I did something with Ant Venom or something. I don't, I don't remember. It was a lot of crazy stuff. So when I looked back at that channel a couple of years ago, uh, you know, pretty recently, relatively recently, I looked at that and I saw, wow, there's like 900 views on this. I wonder what would have kept happening if I stayed consistent and if I kept doing what I was doing with this channel, you know? So more recently, you know, as I've said, I've been diving into different niches, trying to find myself, especially trying to find myself as a musician, as a voiceover artist, as kind of like an audio tech guy, you know, I've been doing all these kinds of things, I've been kind of stretching myself a little bit thin with uh, different passions, you know, I, I make rap music, I make a lot of electronic music, the electronic music I'm very likely going to uh, show off in you know, breaks during live streams, or I'll try to find a way to advertise it on this channel a little bit. But basically, uh, I've been doing all sorts of stuff to try and find my voice, to try and find the thing that makes me happy to produce. I don't necessarily have to get famous doing it, I don't have to get rich doing it, but I do want to be, uh, well, I want to build a community around it. I want to make, I want to socialize using the things that I like and to also find people who like the same things as I like. And when I was doing Default is Awesome and when I worked with Zexy Zek and people like that and when I was just, uh, I was playing Portal 2 with uh, my good friend Jamal, who I'm sure you'll see back on the channel. Him and I are still amazing friends. Um, so, you know, that that kind of uh, social camaraderie in the whole community was was big. And I see that this landscape of YouTube has changed so much. I mean, of course, now we have shorts, now live streams on YouTube are a thing. I don't think live streams were on YouTube 11 years ago when I was making videos. So there's a lot more tools for engagement. But of course, you know, it's very geared towards bigger channels. You know, the algorithm has changed drastically as well. So... You know, most people treat larger channels differently, and then when they see a smaller channel, like for example mine, uh, the the algorithm doesn't necessarily treat it as well. People don't treat it as well. Cause how how more likely are you to comment on a video with zero comments as opposed to a video with a, a, a hundred thousand comments? You know, it's it's psychology. Um, so. Basically, the moral of the story that I'm trying to get to is that if I kept on going with Default is Awesome as a kid, it would be very likely that this would be the main thing that I'm doing for the rest of my life. Like, this would be, like, I, I would probably have, maybe not probably because anything can happen, but 
I would definitely have made a much larger impact. The kind of impact that I wanted to and that I originally made this channel for as a kid. I would have made that kind of impact if I kept going and if I kept staying consistent. Uh, I'm also trying to talk this while playing uh, Binding of Isaac. So you saw, probably saw me pause right there really quick. I should probably do like, like record this and then record the, the voiceover after, but it's, it's fine. Because, uh, you know, I'm learning as we go, and that, that's the main thing, authenticity. You know, I know I'm a smaller channel, and I know that I quit YouTube for a little while to go, you know, live my young life, and it was great. But at the end of the day, like, you know, creating YouTube and engaging with, with other people and networking and having fun playing video games with friends and talking and being myself and being genuine, all of these are the kinds of things that I really have been missing in life. And I've been, uh, so uh, about a week ago, m maybe a little less than a week ago, actually, when I came, actually, I've been thinking about starting Default is Awesome again and again on and off, but I never actually ended up doing it. But... A couple of weeks ago, or a couple a couple of days ago, excuse me, uh, I got a sudden urge to start Default is Awesome, and I started laughing at myself. I started laughing hysterically because this kind of thing is the what I should have been doing long ago, kind of building my network, uh, having fun, yeah, you know, like all the things I, I previously said. So when it comes to making these kinds of videos consistently i got very discouraged maybe when i was a kid i didn't see a thousand views well right away i didn't see a hundred thousand views maybe i wasn't making the highest quality content that i could have been maybe i'm still not making the highest quality content that i could have been but the thing is staying consistent and um you know and, and the thing is i'm coming back to it a lot wiser i'm coming back to it with a lot more life experience you know there's a lot of stuff that i've had happen since then i've uh, worked a lot of crazy jobs i've uh, played in a band or two i've uh, I, you know, I, I've been through my fair share of relationships. I have a lot more life experience now coming into Default is Awesome again than I would have probably if I just kept staying at, like, at Default is Awesome. Like, if I just stead, stayed where I was at. Uh, oh, God, I might be stuck here since I have one heart. Um, this is kind of bad. But that's kind of where I'm at with Default is Awesome. And, and it's like a forgotten thing it's like this thing i've just forgotten about for years for a, over a decade and the thing is it was really the first enterprise that i've wanted to do as a kid it was the, my first uh it was the first thing i really put effort into yeah uh, to try to put myself it was my first way of trying to put myself out there and then Years went by, grew, uh, you know, I think I'm, oh, I'm not fucked here, these things go away, thank god. Um, yeah, so it just kind of, I've been feeling kind of lost uh, this past uh, six months to a year, you know, just trying to figure myself out again, trying to figure out what makes me happy, and you know, while doing all the other stuff I've been doing, because I've also started another YouTube channel called Naft, it's my music YouTube channel, where I would go on there and basically just record uh guitar videos or i died uh i record guitar videos i would do some electronic music on there i would kind of showcase my musical versatility because i like to make a lot of different kinds of music but metaphysically like i've been living all these kinds of lives i've been uh I, i've been making rap music i've been making electronic music i played in a metal band i've uh done I, i've been doing some folk like acoustic music recently i'll link my naf channel in the description because uh, i do want these channels to kind of live side by side but i don't think that they're categorized the same like i feel like default is awesome should stay default is awesome naft should say naft and i'm gonna keep on doing both channels i'm gonna keep on making music of all kinds and i'm gonna keep on kind of showcasing my versatility through music because it's fun it's what i like to do i'm into all kinds of music i'm into all kinds of i'm into all kinds of culture and that's kind of the thing that i'm trying to do here uh, but this is just kind of myself. It's not really me trying to replicate anyone. It's not really me trying to be, a, you know, someone who I'm not. This default is awesome is kind of how I feel me being myself is the most, if that makes any sense. I don't know if I worded that right. It probably sounded like an idiot, but uh, it feels like I'm my most authentic self. When I'm turning off my brain, playing video games, hanging out with friends, uh, like I said, networking, having fun, and making use of the environment that is the internet, that honestly, you know, a lot of people I know, especially like, you know, through in recent years, like, uh, a lot of people would, you know, talk shit about the internet because it kind of, in regards to like COVID and all this other stuff that happened, the, uh, you know, 
being social in general has changed. Uh, you know, everything's over the internet now, and of course, it does feel more genuine for things to be in person, for things to be... You know, that, that's kind of why I kind of started to gear towards music, because especially like as 2020 came around, you know, I thought it would be the most genuine way to get to know people, to meet people. But when I think about doing these and I, I can just kind of talk about whatever I want, I could be myself, I can make friends doing it, I can uh, just have fun, hang out and just keep on doing my thing. I feel like that default is awesome is the thing in my life that I've been, uh, what's the word? I've been hiding away i've been concealing it it's been like this dormant part of me that you know just i don't think i should let it lie dormant anymore man it's uh i, I spend time playing video games anyway especially over these past six months i I'll, I'll, I'll talk like i'm sure i'm gonna talk more about my experiences over these past six months more uh, as we do live streams and as we just do like regular videos, we're not only going to stick to live streams because live streams on smaller channels are kind of impossible to find for new viewers. So anyway, we're going to work up towards growing again. And that's the, this is the bigger picture of the video that I'm kind of trying to get across right now is that if I kept going with default is awesome, I would probably have somewhat of a follower base. I would still probably have some kind of traction. So why am I restarting it if I have no one watching because I, st I was young I lost courage in doing it. I, I lost motivation I wouldn't really say courage but I did lose the drive to keep on going with default is awesome especially as high school rolled around for me so uh, basically what I'm trying to get at here is even if you guys feel like the algorithm is not in your favor if you feel like you're stuck in small channel hell or heck i don't i, I don't know if the i'm gonna get docked points for saying hell i swear on this on the show all the time so it, i don't really care but if you feel like you're stuck in small channel hell then you got to keep on pushing the algorithm you got to keep on making the best quality content that you can make and just keep on pushing it out there because youtube likes to see consistency and the fact that my videos from a decade ago are doing like they got views but of course the channel didn't stay consistent so no one would stay on there would be no consistent audience so it just kind of stopped uh and i didn't even know about it until years later when i clicked back on a default is awesome just to kind of you know get an overview just to kind of like reminisce and then i realized like wait a second this is what i should be doing uh so yeah basically just keep on going, is what I'm trying to say. No matter how long it feels like it's taking to break through, no matter how long it feels, keep on putting out the best quality content that you can. Your people are out there. I know my people are out there, and the thing is, I lost a lot of opportunities to meet a lot of good people because I let this part of me lie dormant. I kind of let myself... Uh, I mean, I'm not mad at it. This is kind of way my life went, but now I know. Now I know not to stop default is awesome because I know the possibilities are endless. I know that the audience is out there. I know that there's people waiting for... So I, I wouldn't say I'm really that niched, but I feel like my personality is a niche. Everyone's personality is a niche. Every person, like you are a niche because you're the only person, you're the only one of you who's out there. So... I don't know what either of these books do. What is this? Reusable item generator. Temporary psychic. What's this? Uh, okay. But, yeah, everyone's a niche. Everyone has their own individual voice. So as long as you keep on honing, as long as you keep on honing that craft, eventually you will get some traction. You may not become, like, a the most famous, prolific person. You may not become the next PewDiePie, but you're still going to be able to build a network and be able to build something that you love with... Uh, just I don't know why I use that there uh, you'll still be able to do something you love with your voice and with yourself with your authentic self and now's the best time to be doing it YouTube is so big everyone's on YouTube Every, all, everyone man it's uh, it's crazy and the amount of stuff that you could do the amount of options that you could have from short form 7 second content 30 second content minute long content 20 minute videos like this is probably going to end up being a 20 minute video uh, live streams there's so many different options and there's so many different paths to find your niche but you're never going to find your niche unless if you do it man unless if you try and right now apparently my niche is playing Binding of Isaac and just talking uh yeah, man. Even if you look at my Nobody Asked For This YouTube channel, where I would uh, basically be sitting around 
Uh, I bit there. So on that channel, which again is linked in the description, uh, that that's for now on going to be kind of like my primary music channel. I would do like these videos where I would just be sitting there talking. I would be interviewing friends to talk about what they're doing, just because I like to like. I, I feel like my passion is talking. A lot of people have told me my whole life, even before, when I started, default is awesome, and I I was. A, you can go back to the videos. I, I was a kid who sounded like this. People back then told me I had a nice voice for my age, so it kind of like dawned on me that I wanted to talk as a Korean. I like to talk. I'm a chatty person, <laughs> as you could tell. So basically, I feel like that's kind of my niche, and I was kind of like getting in front of the camera in my in my other channel, like uh, you know, talking to people face to face. But I feel like that this kind of thing, playing video games, like I said, turning my brain off. Because while I'm playing Binding of Isaac, I'm not thinking about myself. When I'm making a video where it's me face-to-face -face with the camera, I'm only thinking about myself. But right now, I'm thinking about Binding of Isaac and just letting my mind yap away. I realize that being not in front of the camera... I, I like being behind the microphone, but not necessarily behind the camera. I might put a, I might put a webcam or a little, uh, a little view of my face as videos go on. I need to get myself a quality webcam. I'm not the best budgeted channel in the world, but we'll get there. Um, but yeah, I noticed I like being behind the camera, not really thinking about myself, turning my brain off, playing these video games. It was kind of like the most authentic way to get myself out there, and it really is what I enjoy doing. Um, and I'm still going to keep on making all different kinds of music. I'm still going to make rap music, and so I make rock, I'm still going to make electronic, I'm still going to make metal. Uh, I'm still going to make, uh, what was the last one? Folk? Country? I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, like... Yeah, I, I I like to stay culture. I like to spread the culture, and I like to I like to see other cultures get you know infused and implemented. And to see a lot of people um kind of get together. A lot of pe I like to see people who wouldn't normally get along or get together get along and get together. Because at the end of the day, we're all humans. We all want to live happy, healthy lives. We all want to we all want to you know be social and have friends and uh, be happy and feel satisfied doing what we're doing and that's exactly why i'm coming back to default is awesome because i feel like it's the thing that makes the most sense in my life right now um now i may have to cut this off a little bit short i may uh like pause binding of isaac and keep on going with this run as a uh, because i i have to I have to drive someone somewhere in a few minutes. So I, as much as I want to keep talking about myself and my past and, you know, the the reason I'm back on default is awesome after 10 years, even though nobody cares because who the hell cares about a YouTube channel that had 70 subscribers 10 years ago and no one and is just now coming back. You know, I have to earn my place and I want to acknowledge that I'm going to earn my spot. To some extent, to some notoriety, to some people, I want to uh, I want to fulfill my childhood dream of being this content creator, being this YouTuber, and just being default is awesome. I just want to be awesome, man. And uh, I urge all of my... Wow, my, my tears got fast. I don't know what I just picked up, but... Uh, yeah, I just want to urge everyone else to kind of take what I have, take take what I've said today, and kind of try to apply to yourself. Find your niche. Don't give up, no matter how slow the algorithm feels like it's picking up on you. Just keep on putting out good content, and the people are out there. Um, and at the end of the day, man, you just got to keep going. And while I, I could look back on all of the uh, possibilities that I've cheated myself out on because I didn't com continue doing Default is Awesome, because I didn't keep on pursuing my craft in this regard, uh, doesn't mean that I'm going to quit again. It actually means I'm not going to quit again because I know the potential. I went back on my channel years later and I saw the potential that I could be I could be doing and the kind of message that I could be giving to other people who are also feeling discouraged on their craft. If you keep going, no matter how... You know, not, not saying, you know... Con to put out bad content, but if your content's kind of bad, you know, if you keep on putting it out, if you keep on slightly improving, you know, taking big steps to improve whatever you do, as long as you keep on making the best content you can put out there, that's it, man, that's all you gotta do, and you'll find your people, um, yeah, like I said, I gotta go ahead and take care of some stuff, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this here, but I was happy to, uh, record that little video, and I'm happy to restart Default is Awesome, back in full swing, back with maximum dedication, back with, uh, maximum eagerness, and hopefully, uh, we can get some, some people in here, and I, again, 
just me acknowledging I'm a small channel. I'm acknowledging my story. I'm acknowledging the past. And I'm acknowledging the fact that if you keep going, look at the previous videos on this channel, man. Like, all of them had 20 views when I quit, around 20 views, maybe 50 at the most. And then I come back years later, they all have hundreds of views. Maybe not thousands, maybe it's not as good as it could, but I'm saying... If you keep going, the results are exponential. Just please don't give up. That's the moral of this episode. I'll, I might continue this Binding of Isaac uh, thing in another episode, but that's kind of all I wanted to get through. Um, but yeah, uh, without further ado, it has been default is awesome. I, I, I'm going to need to figure out something. Uh, if you guys want to help out the algorithm, like I said, we're a small channel. Uh, I would love it. If you guys could hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, you know, tell me how you feel. Tell me how what I said today makes you feel um, anything like that. Uh, turn on the bell notifications for future streams, stuff like that, if you guys want. But um, yeah, just thanks for listening. See you.